Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Walton County, Georgia, where we find a sovereign citizen applying his craft and trying his BS on an officer. But you know what? It really doesn't work out for him, and he ends up winning the Safe Light Challenge. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. This officer first. No, no, no. Okay, so, <sighs> officer, what's your name and badge number, please? I can't see it because your walkie-talkie's in the way. Uh, what's your first name and last name? Don't have to tell you that. Don't have to tell you that. This is going to result in a complaint. Uh, Go right ahead, brother. So I'm asking what I need for to... your driver's license and proof of insurance. Could I have your card, please? Say again? Could I have your employee card? No, you may not. I need your Why driver's not? license and proof of insurance. Okay, if I can't have your... Um, if I can't have that, could, I, uh, could you get in contact with your Listen supervisor, please? I am asking... I am giving you a lawful order that's not a lawful order. Yeah. Well, I wonder how many of those poison dart frogs you've been licking lately because that stuff seems to have really gotten to your head. Because if you would read uh, the Georgia statute on this, you would see that it is definitely a lawful order. They have the right to tell, ask you for your uh, driver's license and proof of insurance and everything like that. And guess what? Uh, doofus, it is definitely backed up by the Tenth Amendment, which grants the states the right to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. Is there anything else that you would like to spew out of your pie hole before you get your, uh, well, your window vanished out into thin air. I'm asking Could you, you for your driver's license? I'm going to read something to you. Ex parte and Dickey. This is Dickey versus Davis. Every citizen has I, I an unalienable that. right I don't care to I make that. use I'm of the public highways of the state. Every citizen has full freedom to travel adventure. from place to place in the enjoyment of life and liberty. People versus not house. This is 147 Colorado. No state government entity has the power to allow or deny passage on the highways, byways, nor waterways transporting his vehicles and personal property for either rep recreation or business, but by being subject only to local work regulations, safety, caution, traffic lights, speeds, and speed limits. Travel is not a privilege requiring licensing, vehicle registration, or forced insurances. You know, I you seem to know what the case names are, but you seem to be mixing things up or cherry picking outright because I didn't see any of that in this particular case that you just cited. But I did find this paragraph in that case, which seems to support the idea that, yeah, people are required to have driver's licenses, dude. So, uh, yeah, try again. I need your Further, license, further, the, the term motor vehicle means every description of carriage or other contrivance propelled or drawn or drawn by mechanical power and or used for commercial purposes on the highways. The term used for commercial purposes means the carriage of persons or, or, or property of any fare, fee, rate, charge or other consideration or directly or, or indirectly in connection with any business or automobile for hire as a motor vehicle, other than an, an automobile stage used for transportation of persons for which remuneration is received. This is a private automobile, sir. This is why I don't have tags or registration. Man, oh man, your reading comprehension sucks. Do you realize that the word or is a conditional and alternative word basically meaning it could be either or it doesn't have to be for a commercial purpose, you moron. So basically again, you're cherry picking everything you want out of these statements and just ignoring the rest of it. And that is your primary error. It is confirmation bias. In fact, I've already gone through this and had my actual plate stolen by an officer. So I'm already dealing with a situation like this and I would like to preserve your employment. Yeah. I'm trying to allow you to do the right thing here. I'm trying oh, to help I, you. I haven't even told you I'm, if I'm writing you a citation. I'm it doesn't, I don't understand the problem. But you're, you're detaining me right now. You you're detaining me. I'm going to read. I'm going to read. I'm going to read Title 18 for you. Because you need to know this. Because I want you to be on the side of the people. 
I want you to be on our side. I want you to do the right thing. No rights are being violated. Right they are being. They I'm are. On the side of that based position. on what I just told you. Based but, on what I just told you, you are violating my right because that was constitution. Is not that was constitutional right law. That was Currently Supreme Court law. My duty. Uh, dude, uh, maybe, like I said before, you should stop cherry picking these cases because if you read the whole thing instead of just one little snippet, uh, you'd be better off. I mean, this is an old argument that is called quote mining. Well, not just quote mining, but cherry picking. And it is very dishonest in the academic community. So, uh, But of course, I don't think you're in the academic community anyway. I think you're just a moronic sovereign citizen who couldn't tell the difference between that. So let's carry on, shall we? I am not. You would like I to am go not. To jail. You can I am not. Driver's license, I am not obstructing. I am not obstructing anything. I'll show you my driver's license. If, if although, I'm asking for it, although, I need you to give it to me although, now. Although I know I, for no, a fact, stop talking. I need it now. One moment. I'm going to. I'm going to look up this law because we're going to be patient. We're going to be all patient. Right, all right, we're done. Go ahead and step out. Go ahead and step sir, out. Sir, I'm going to smash this windshield. Sir, please don't I'm smash my window. Remove you. Your window. You're breaking the law. Vehicle. Do not do that. Listen to me. Exit the vehicle. One moment. Exit the vehicle sir, right excuse me. Now, could you could you call your supervisor, please? Could you call your supervisor, please? I have no contract with you. Please don't do that. Wow, contracts. That's something I haven't heard from a sovereign citizen in a few days anyway, but it still doesn't mean anything in this particular case because it's not contract, it's law. Please don't do that. We're not past anything because I haven't committed a crime. Why are you trying to ruin my life? Why are you trying to ruin my life? Do not damage my property. 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 Unlock your truck and step You are not giving me a lawful order. Yes, I am. No, you're not. You are not the law. You are not the law. You are breaking the law. You are breaking the law. Call your supervisor, please. No, I don't have to. Sir, please call your supervisor. Yes, you do. I do not have to do that. I'm going to record this live on YouTube right now. Safe like replace. Give me your fucking hand. What the fuck? Show me your fucking hand. What are you doing this to me? Explain this shit to you. Show me. Get out. Why are you doing this to me? We told you. You're under arrest. What are you doing? What are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop You're breaking the law. Stop. You're breaking Stop the law. Stop You're breaking the law. Well, now that was fairly quick and fairly satisfying too. So let this be a lesson to all you sovereign citizens out there. Don't drink the Kool-Aid and certainly don't pull stuff out of your ass thinking that it's going to stick to the wall. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.